Hello, Nadine here today, and I am going to create some wedding invitations that are pretty easy to make, but look like they took maybe a long time, and I don't know if you've ever priced out invitations, but they're kind of expensive, so this is a not as expensive way to do them. So we can make a bunch of them this way too, and I will show you. I'm going to be using some Stays On All Purpose Stamp Cleaner some sheer shimmer craft spray this is in the sparkle and delicata in silvery shimmer champagne and also celestial copper so let me set all these aside so I printed out a bunch of my invite sayings of what I wanted to say this was probably the hardest part because I wanted it in a diamond shape so I used my Photoshop to get that shape and then what I did was just I printed out or cut I did <laughs> cut one out but first I did like an X in it so I can get where the center of it is and then I cut it out so then when I laid them on top of this I could actually line up the letters and then just trace around it and then cut them out so then I got a bunch that were cut out like this. And I actually did this on cardstock. These right here was just an example on just plain paper, but print them out on cardstock. So then once I got a bunch printed out, I took the Sheer Shimmer Craft Spray, shook it up really well to get that mica powder mixed in, and then just did a quick spray over each one of them, and then just set them all aside and let them dry. Next, once they were all dry, I placed them onto some Rania foiled paper. This is in the copper glossy, so then I'm going to back it with this paper. Okay, so next, using my Misty, which the Misty is a great tool or any kind of a stamping platform is great for when I'm, you're going to be doing multiple cards like what we will be doing here, so it just makes it easier to line up. So using that and then placing the invite or the saying part in pretty close to where I want it on the card. And then I'm going to be using an Altinu Dainty Bouquet stamp set. I'm going to use this flower die. Or not die, stamp. Kind of get an idea where I'm going to want this to be. Thinking right about there looks good. Then closing my misty down on it to pick it up. Take that part off. And then the first color is the Delicata in Silvery Shimmer. Ink up my stamp. And if you feel like you need more color, just oops, ink it up again. like that and then just set that aside and move on to your next one and stamp it again so until you do each the same stamp do it on all of your invitations all at the same time so that way you don't have to change the color out each time I'm just gonna do two to show you you get an idea of how it works Okay, so each time afterwards, oops, that's not my cleaner. <laughs> this is a stays on cleaner. You're going to want to clean it so you don't stamp anywhere that you don't want to. Spray it. Get it nice and clean. And then put that back on again. Get an idea of where it's going to be at. And then place the stamp down again and then stamp it in the silver again I decided I'm going to do another stamp at the same time on here because I'm I also want it in silver so I might as well do it at the same time
now that I am done with the silver, the silvery shimmer, now I'm going to move on to the celestial copper with the next layer. Now there we go. So I'm moving on to the next card. So because I'm already working with the copper, I'm just going to go into the leaf now and do all the cards. Now going in with the third layer, I'm going to be using the Delicata in Champagne. There we go. You see that on there? Pretty shimmer. Make sure you keep your fingers clean because I didn't and I got a little bit of fingerprints on there, but that's okay, that's what happens. Then I just printed out some response cards. These were just already done, so the dates are all weirded out on here. But anyhow, you can do four per sheet like this. And then doing with the response cards, the same thing that I did with the invitations. I'm just going to stamp each one with the silver and then move on to the Celestial Copper, and then the Champagne. So there we go. So pretty quickly you can get these invitations done. And then I just stamped with just the Celestial Copper on the outside of an envelope. So those would go in there. And then the response cards, I also did the same. And there is the response card, so those can go in there as well. And then your invitations are are done. Thank you so much for watching. Visit imaginecrafts.com for even more inspiration. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so and hit the like button as well. See you next time. Bye-bye.